Uh, welcome to uh, semantic backup exec uh, tutorial session um, today uh, we'll be talking about uh, the catalog folder which is very uh, important uh, in semantic backup exec so uh, so this is my test environment we have a, a windows 2008 r2 and we have semantic backup exec 2015 which is the latest one and of course there's a trial version that i'm running okay so uh, in this tutorial uh, what i'll be showing is i'll be showing uh, uh, what is catalog folder and what do we have uh, uh, under catalog folder i mean the content how the backup job stores information um, under catalog folder and uh, what are the common catalog issues uh, we will be facing uh, from troubleshooting uh, uh, perspective All right so um, the semantic backup exec uh, user interface is still loading uh, yeah probably it will take a minute let's wait um, okay so meanwhile uh, I'll show you uh, I'm just uh, browsing to um, to the installation folder where we have a semantic backup exec installed so here uh, it's under my C drive okay program files you see the semantic folder backup exec so uh, here um, we have folder named catalog do you see this here so this is for this is the folder I'm talking so it's under program files semantic backup exec catalog so I'll open this one so this is nothing but my uh, server name the master server i mean the backup server name okay so remember so the catalog folder will always get created with the uh, server name which is the master server so let's uh, dig in so we have catalog process temporary folder we have cat store and we have dot fh uh, files okay so let's see uh, the catalog process temporary folder okay so there is nothing here because this is a temporary folder and the cat store there is nothing here also and what are these files these are like dot fh what exactly the fh file is let me go to properties once and let's see what exactly we have here so this is nothing but it's a windows uh, it's a fh file okay um, what is this this is an xml document or what i can see uh, let me I'll try I want to just try to open this one and see what happens just just uh, to understand so what exactly this contains so overall if you look at the catalog folder contains a temporary folder a cat stored folder and a file related to the backup okay which is under FH format okay so remember this can be one of your uh, interview technical round question also what exactly the catalog folder contains so you can tell them uh, it is the path is program files semantic backup exec catalog we have temporary folder we have cat store and we have uh, files related uh, uh, for uh, jobs okay and um, the extension is uh, fh uh, file so what fh file or xml document contains see here it, it's showing uh, backup time backup type see here guys this is, this is what you have to look here so each XML file contains job related information okay so the job ID okay the job grid ID okay and the retention so it's just nothing but the complete job information all right so it clearly shows that catalog stores all job related information so it maintains a track just like a uh, your table of index index contents like what exactly you're backing up and everything all right so that's about the catalog folder so if you want to change let's say sometimes what happens uh, my local drive or it's say the drive is uh, running low disk space because my catalog folder is occupied it is growing day by day because I have 50 jobs today and after one week I added 10 more jobs and after the third week I added 20 more jobs so my catalog folder size is growing and I want to change my catalog uh, folder path to a different drive or to a different server where we I have a huge space 
So for that, what I have to do? I have to click or I have to open the semantic backup at GUI. Okay. And now here, go to the configuration and settings. And here, you can see here the backup exec settings. Click on that. Say so twin, it should bring up a new pop up window. Okay. So here, under on the left pan, you see different uh, options. So go to the catalog here. So this is where you can change the path of your catalog folder. Okay. So you can also, if you want to, I mean, most of us. Uh, don't sell like here the truncate catalogs of two months because we have a retention policy coming to the picture so it will delete all old jobs but if you want to explicitly delete uh, or uh, remove uh, old catalogs you have you can configure here saying that six months or 12 months or uh, you know uh, depends upon your company policy all right so this is how where you will reconfigure your catalog path you can mention which folder you want create a new folder let's say I'll, I'll create a new folder here let's say I have a new D drive something like that but here in this case I go to a new drive so what I'll do is I'll create a, a test catalog okay uh, folder so uh, what I'll do is I'll just point that folder here okay so this is my test catalog click on okay so that is my new catalog path where all my catalog uh, information will be stored going forward so this is how you will change the catalog uh, you can redirect your catalog uh, folder so that gives you so this is this is kind of a, a, a semantic backup exec uh, advanced uh, settings you should know all right so this is about the catalog guys and if you have any questions please uh, use comment section and uh, stay tuned for more semantic backup exec tutorial videos Thank you so much for watching and have a nice day.